as you did there is because it's audio and not video. Uh, no, uh. <laughs> you disgust me. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, mud on the dance floor was the last time we did this, right? Can't remember. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, because we and we recorded that in December. Right. So yeah, that's not that's in, uh, in the macro car park. Oh, it'll pick it up. Don't worry. No, I'm saying that's gonna fall. So oh, right. the edge. Yeah. You're halfway through the corner, you just kick the microphone off the fucking desk. No yeah. table and I would. Yeah. Right, are we are we on? Yeah. Mm. Are we starting? Are we on? Oh, we're live. Yeah. Oh, are we on? Hi, world. I'm not on shit. I don't know what you told. What you told them? But just bear in mind, guys. Right. <laughs> Um, Jamie's always on everything. Just maximum discretion, maximum the respect, because the fucking troglodytes are going to be listening to this. Who the what? We are the troglodytes. Yeah. The troglodytes. That's yes. a gay name. A lot of big That's words not my team name. There. I did not vote for that. Reckless <laughs> faggotry <laughs> was employed in the creation of that particular line. Um, <laughs> <laughs> press play on that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Press play, just press play on that, and I'll put it on. Mm. Okay. So, uh, I think the thing that disturbs me most about South Park is how close to reality it is. Yeah. I'm joking, it's not it at all. No, uh, this, this no it could be more poignant, Laurie. The stories they deal with. Yeah. Like, um... I never picked up when I was a kid, but even watching some of the mm. early episodes back, you realise like the sort of social issues that they're dealing with, and they still, in fact, Imagination Land itself is about free speech. Yeah, um, like it's it's like ruthlessly to the point. As yeah, well. although it's a complete fantasy cartoon. Yeah, and it's all about like it, extremism and shit yeah. breaking through that kind of little wall. That but they hate. but they capture the situation perfectly yeah. as it is in the real world. Yeah, and. Uh, and yeah, all, they're, they're, yeah, they're they're like they're they're basic their assessment of it and how it's impacting our society is spot on. Yeah, I mean the thing it's the imagination the, the, land episode. Did holding, you, did anybody uh, holding ideas see, hostage. That's yeah, what they're doing, basically. And, it's, it's, and, and they take it in like a more literal sense as well with terrorists and mm. uh, the time it was made as well. You know, a war on terror and shit like that, and all these terrorists like you know freedom of speech and shit. Yeah. yeah. But did anybody here see the film Stardust? Yeah, yeah it had, I've seen it. It had a whole fucking. I mean, I thought it was good. It was like a Christmas movie that came out a few years ago. Yeah, no, and I think I watched like, the, the first whole minutes soundtrack. Of it, I watch the yeah, rest. the whole soundtrack was done by Take That. I'm sure, oh. or was it the main track? It was like, you know, it's like. I'm, I've never heard. Lighting of Lighting up the sky tonight. Stardust. For you. It's, yeah, it's a very, it's like a PG. You. And it's just, you know, <laughs> no, that's in Stardust. Yeah, um, you For know, you, me, can, you know that, and then that was like the main track for it. But at one point, because it's like this kind of cheesy fantasy film, it's actually not terrible. It wasn't as bad as the Golden Compass. It wasn't as bad as the fucking Golden Compass. I know, I never watched that either. Like Nicole Kidman. I read Why are you going to watch family fi- like ch- like child and family films? I, Why are you watching these well, things? <laughs> I, I read half the Golden Compass. I know people something about those environments story, just yeah. like, gets yeah. me fucking Honey. hard. <laughs> uh, no, because at one point in Stardust, they have a gate. Which is between like the evil spirit world and the, the wall. Yeah, the yeah, wall. Yeah, you remember the wall, that? Yeah. And I don't know if this came out after it because it's, they always they'll rip off like some element of a film, mm. uh, like they the did with Indiana this. Jones. Yeah, in the, in the China it's episode. Mean. Yeah, it's, it's like, and the Walmart episode was fucking brilliant. What was the Walmart taking the piss out? Uh, was it The Matrix? No. Yeah, well, The it Matrix was, was the film overlay, but it was taking the piss out of Walmart. Mm. Well, cause just because it has that one bit at the end with the architect. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, do you recognise me? I want to show a true form. He takes his moustache off. Yeah. He goes on the floor. Yeah. See, I think it was <laughs> taking the piss out of how <laughs> crazy people get for cheap shit. Yeah. yeah. And just yeah, like yeah, stores that are ridiculously low prices. Yeah, and they, they all become like zombies. And there was yeah, that film they, they on They don't Netflix. even realise that they're like their addiction to the low prices is what's killing their communities. Yeah. And yeah. Like yeah. You know, it's a yeah. DFS yeah. always and, the same. And, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's it, always it, a DFS. They, there's oh, this man. Show, I, I, walked I, into, I walked into Sterling Furniture, <laughs> <and>, uh, you <laughs> know, in Gordy, opposite the scene screws. Yeah. Summer sale, spring sale, autumn sale, winter sale. Every window just sale, 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 sale. Walk in there and a sofa is like two grand yeah. and I'm thinking there's no fucking wonder yeah. this place is empty yeah like who's they actually found shit recently like they did like an investigation in it like we mentioned that like the consumer goods like department that you, yeah. you complain to if it's like you know if there's like malfeasance with big business practices and they found that like some of these places have been found to have had sales on founded for like founded to have founded? had sales done to for, like an entire year 
Yeah. And they just they all they went from one sale to another sale, which yeah. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do. You have to have like it's like happy hour in pubs. You have yeah. to have like a set amount of time between special offers. I guess so, it can so, be happy yeah. hour. Every yeah. hour so they can see this couch was three thousand pounds. Now mm. only two hundred thousand yeah, eight hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, it looks like it looks, looks more appealing to the eye. If it's gone down from a certain price, which yeah. means the quality of it must have been better. Yeah, and then gone down a certain value. Yeah. But that's I mean, bullshit. It's yeah. basically what they're doing. Is it's like that. Um, it's. I mean, it's all to do with like supply and longevity as well. I mean, like you can make furniture in it. Furniture is make. You can make furniture on a fucking conveyor belt. I mean, mm. you need the wood. You make you need other can, materials. You, you can make you furniture on a three D printer. Yeah, I mean, technically now you can. I mean, what it is is that it's a product that doesn't spoil very quickly, and you have it for like years until it starts to look, you know, tacky. And you see it being used in like an old episode of fucking Bonanza, and then you decide to you know get a new couch because that one's you know like I used to have a zebra skin sofa couch. You remember that in Is my it? room at uh, at Park? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's like that was from like 1980s. That was like 1985 or some shit. It looked like it looked like it, it had been in the original Lethal Weapon, you know, uh, or or Beverly Hills Cop. And he's like, you know, fighting with that random South African guy. You know, the South Africans have like, you know, they're, they're ruling the fashion trade. And I can't do a fucking South yeah, African yeah. accent, that really no. evil motherfucker. Oh, wait, this next section. And he, yeah, like, uh, what no, is it? No, 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 what you doing? Eddie Murphy. This, this, no, this is just, we watched the end of the previous one, and now mm. we're watching. Right, now we're watching part two. We're, watch, watch, we're, we're watching the end of part one. Oh, we were. We were watching the end of part one. That oh, was what okay. I was playing before. How many parts are there in Imagination Land? Three? Two? Back to the two, screen, three, just move along or something. We're having some uh, technical difficulties. I <laughs> hope you would just bear what with us. What is that? We were supposed to be having a conversation Fucking right now, yeah, but I'm afraid that's just not going to happen. No, you didn't die, you pikey cunt. Oh, <laughs> fucking Hobby City. Oh, nice. Off, man. Yeah, wow. let's watch Hobby City, man. I've always wanted to watch this show. This is, this is what I hate about this. Vomit. I don't know what button to press. We just watched the second one, did we not? No, we just... We've just started watching the second one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we were watching the end of the first one. What, does it just go into the next episode? Yeah. Who turned on like, just go back to Hobby City? Go back to it and I'll explain it. Are you ovulating? Sometimes. Did you tell me if you were? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's got to be entertaining for the... the oh, yeah, previously in the <laughs> <show. laughs> See, do you see what I was saying now? Yeah, we saw this. You know how, like, when you play, this sometimes is... it just catches, catches the end of the previous episode, then right. it goes along. Basically, the ones that were playing were one, one, two, and three. Okay, so they're, they're in alignment. On, they're just yeah. kind of off a bit, right, Sam? So you watch the end of like you watch. Yeah, yeah. The I end of the yeah, first part, and then you watch the beginning of the first part, and then. I wonder if know. the terrorists know that nuclear <laughs> missiles don't work like that. But then again, it is imagination. Man. Yeah, so yeah. anything is possible. I'm pretty sure nuclear missiles. Do they? they yeah, totally if you, good. if you <laughs> didn't prime. A nuclear missile, you could drop it and it wouldn't explode. Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, isn't that the same with almost everything? Like? Yeah, but a rocket rocket isn't a nuclear missile. No, what is it? Is he just, you drop a, a, just a rocket? Ball, it's Tom Hawk cruise missile. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. I, it has to be real children. for me. <laughs> well, they tried. They tried to, they tried to give their cruise missiles a personality, yeah. and they fired one at an Iraqi yeah. town, and it said, "No, I can't do this." It's not real enough for me. I'm going to see the world instead. Yeah, but what were we talking about? We were talking about the Walmart episode. Yeah. Um, the like, Matrix. Yeah, it's the Matrix, and then it's... it's the, Yeah, because they almost make it like this kind of computer virus because they destroy it at one point, and it comes back. Yeah. Bigger and stronger. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't end when they burn it down or something. Like yeah. That, like. No, I think there's elements of that that are... Aren't they taking the piss out of, like... What's the name of that film? I don't, I don't think it was a Hitchcock film, but, like, when all the kids in the town become, like... Like... Like possessed by aliens. Can't you know that film where the, the whole town is like it just becomes. Oh, the crazies! Is it? It, I think yeah, the the original crazies was famous for it, uh, and the little kids are walking around like one of us, one of us, one Never of us. Oh, that was like it's one of those horror films, like late seventies, early eighties. No, the remade. The crazies. Yeah, like ten years after the Hitchcock yeah. era, you had all these people in the film industry who wanted to make horror movies like Alfred Hitchcock. Like or or thrillers really, uh, and so you had some really not as good as Hitchcock, but late seventies, early eighties, there was some really great shit, yeah. and then it got more brutal. It was like rock and roll transitioning into heavy metal from the sixties to the like, you know seventies, eighties, where they took that horror 
and then they just went overboard on gore yeah. and removed some of the thriller thriller and element the story. of it but you still yeah. kept some of it like Friday the 13th yeah. bit of a thriller but then it, it turns into fright and that's where you got the slasher genre appearing in the late 80s early 90s but things got really brutal like hammer horror in the 80s was really just a holdover from some of the horror See, films in the 60s you know yeah like when people ask me if I'm a fan of horror I say not really but it's not mm. that like uh, I have a problem with horror as a genre, like I'll, you know, I like some horror films, but uh, I like ones with a proper story to them. Like, yeah. I'd say a, like a really good thriller, like a really well-made thriller, is probably more uh, sort of like uh, more of an experience okay. to watch, yeah, yeah. Uh, than just pure gore on yeah. screen. I mean, because a thriller is just a either. horror in your mind. It's just the people take the advantage I, of like you know same things like the scenery and all that being dark, yeah. and then a one jumpy part. Yeah. Where it's just a mate that turns up behind them or something. The, the only yeah. everyone's the, the best, advantage of the best film I can think of is a perfect balance of like kind of story and like gore is uh, horror. It's Twenty Eight Days Later. Mm. I think that's fucking brilliant. Yeah. That's, like, uh, that's a good thing. I mean, suspense yeah. bordering on thriller slash, uh, you know, culturally significant in the nineties. I'm gonna go. I I always go back to Scream because Scream is like I think really culturally significant because I mean. It spawned scary movie, which went on to be pretty yeah. bad. But if a film is that influential, you know, uh, and even though a lot of those kind of spoof films were really big early yeah. noughties, remember? But like Scream, the original Scream by Wes Craven was was brilliant. You know, I yeah. Suppose. I scary movie when it came out though. I, I don't know how old we were, but that was amazing. Like I'd never seen anything like that. Scary movie. That, scary movie. The the scary movie too, as well. I think I actually saw yeah. Scary Movie two for I saw Scary Movie one. Shorty, yeah. the original Scary Movie is the best character. Yeah. Right? Or Scary Movie two when that huge fucking. I didn't even understand this at the time when the plant is smoking him. Yeah. I did not even understand what weed was. I was yeah, so like yeah. small. And I'm like, why is that guy's afro on fire? And I was like, it's like weed, but why does he have a plant? And when I look back, and you ever like try and transplant your mind back into like your ten year old yeah, self yeah. and try and perceive the world without knowing what you know right now? Yeah. Well, well, well all the fucking like uh, weed references you'll see in Scooby Doo. Oh yeah. 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 It's crazy. Yeah, I did like, There was one yeah. scene, especially like when um, Shaggy and Scooby they get scared or something, so they're gonna go back to the van for Scooby snacks, and when they open the door, smoke comes out with them. Just, like, really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You it's would have like think that they would edit that out. Why well, they could probably no, just pass it off as cigarettes. They made it like I've never noticed that. You never noticed that. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Scooby Doo. Yeah, I remember we we, we had the film on at the lodge and. Uh, like one of the f- we didn't end up watching it because I, I think it's quite a bad film but uh, like oh, uh, no, no, what's your name Mary oh. Jane oh that's like my favourite name yeah. and I never noticed that when never I watched it the first time. Yeah. you never notice when they're sitting there going what's better than an eggplant burger no it was an eggplant burger it's like a chocolate covered eggplant burger it's like yeah, yeah it's definitely stoners you're talking about yeah, but yeah. yeah. You, you know how you, you know how I know that a uh, uh, Scooby Doo movie the CGI one yeah. was bad it's because I thought it was bad when I saw it as a kid yeah. yeah, like I thought that was a terrible film. I don't think I, I didn't really become a film critic until I was about sixteen. Everything before sixteen was either it's not that I didn't like it for artistic reasons. You must be way ahead of me because I would just no, I go, like to, I does this like it, entertain yeah. me at face value? And if it didn't, then I wouldn't watch it. But if it did, Suppose. you know, I didn't. It didn't entertain me for yeah. artistic value. Yeah, <laughs> for artistic value. Would <laughs> <laughs> um, you just? Just don't change the. Just like an autistic kid, just just like who can't watch films because he notices tiny, tiny <laughs> little <laughs> like tiny little flaws. But that those are those are those people. You know they go like the top thirty flaws that were made in like Terminator. Like oh, his car's trashed. Mm. Like Terminator Two, but then he drives away and the car's good as new. This would be you have to be autistic to notice that shit. Like, yeah, no, not really. Unless Sometimes you're so or really really audience. high. I think either stoners or autistic kids. Nah, the stoners are in a very people. like the fixated that, on what they're the watching. The one that I've never like actually noticed by watching the film, but if, as soon as you notice it, you can't help but notice mm. it. It's the one in the Matrix oh, no. where he's talking to the guy, then he's like talking about being late, and when he's talking to him, the camera's like, facing from behind them. He's got his arms in front, but when he's talking, he's got his arms behind them. Yeah. And yeah. the conversation goes on a few times, and it cuts between both. Mm. And you yeah. see your arms in front, arms behind, arms. Is that when he's been interviewed by Agent Smith? No, no. At the very start, when he's like late for work. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's like I've never noticed that until someone pointed out. Well, I'm it's like. Diary, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I heard um, it's weird because I was showing you guys you, you that that Joe Rogan thing earlier, and Joe Rogan pointed this out that like uh, there are films that were released over the last like forty years that were received terribly. And then somehow became culturally significant. Yeah. And he attributes a lot of that to stoners. 
who would look at really bad old films, and this, there's been so many instances of this, where they go, this film was received badly at the time, it was, it's Fight received Club. badly now, but I'm high as fuck and this is amazing. No, but Fight like, Club. Fight really, Club was really, like, really, really put down by critics and everything. No. Yeah. Really? Fight Club was one of the ones that it was like ahead of its time. <sighs> really, that was slammed by... Well, Adam Sandler, every single Adam Sandler film, with the exception, I think, of, like... Jill and Jack. I th- no, I think the only one that was received well was like Mr. Deeds. What? You're right. The fake one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like Mr. I'm, quite, I'm quite glad that kind no, of sorry, sorry, Can we just say that again? Just what? No, you're, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You're right. I, I can just say by that and play it over and over again. I just, I, just remembered, I just remembered the first time I saw it and it's when my mate brought it around on video and then I just remember mom's reaction is even seeing the cover of it and then realised why I'd never seen it before and it was a film that was just blocked out by parents because if any of them saw it they thought this is fucking Yeah because brutal. it's one of those films that you don't really understand until you're about 18 yeah. yeah, You can't really watch it through and understand exactly yeah. what's going on I, I mean, mean people used to say to me about The Godfather like you won't understand The Godfather until you're like 18 or Schindler's List Yeah and I think and by, by the time you're an adult you've realised yeah. all that like anarchy and yeah. when I was terror t- bullshit yeah. is not a viable thing yeah. so, I mean when yeah. I was when I was 20 and I watched Schindler's List for the first time uh, with Liam Neeson uh, I I understood at that point why it wasn't until then that I would understand it, but I Sorry. never foreseen that I would find it so like sexually invigorating. That I mean, it's oh, come well, on, man. Where are you going with this? <laughs> it, I I had an ice pack right. on my Just lap back for to almost the States. entire duration of that film. Sorry, you know, the Matrix, no, right. Matrix Reloaded. Yeah, me and Sean was a few mistakes in that. So given so given how much the fans love that like and they were just coming over the first one, calling the second one Reloaded was actually quite apt. Reloaded, yeah. I see no, I got know, another bullet you, in the chamber. You know, but do you know what I noticed? Well, in the first one, when he's getting shot at, his Neo goes in slow motion. Yeah, he does the sort of backwards mm. slow motion thing. Yeah, his guns like disappear. And yeah, he has shoot, he shoots all his gun bullets at the agent, and then he goes Trinity run, drops the guns, and then mm. when he's going in slow motion, there's no guns there whatsoever. But also in the second one, we're having the big massive. No, just before the fight scene when they're in the French guy's place, mm. and he's like puts his hands up and stops all the bullets, and then all the bullets drop, and then the people start fighting. There's no bullets on the floor. Mm. It's like all those small details that you didn't yeah. really notice unless you're watching it like 17 times a while. Yeah, that's the only reason you notice those mistakes because you keep rewatching the Matrix. <laughs> it's just like, such good films, though. Mm. And the Animatrix, that's such a like yeah, un- underrated is, film. Did you notice that like, there was a lot brilliant. of like animated accompanying uh, material for films in the early noughties you notice that like uh, it was it was the animatrix there was the one you were talking about for uh, Chronicles of Riddick yeah and there was what pitch black y- no 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 the, oh, right, the accompanying animated sort of thing yeah, and then they that. did it for so that. many films like but it got to the point I think like where if you heard that a sequel to a film Sorry. Uh, was being made as an animated sequel, like like you were talking. We, we watched Starship Troopers. Yeah, an and when you hear now it's an animated sequel, part of you is just like, I'm not gonna watch it. It's gonna be fucking shit. And that's crazy, by the way, because I remember yeah. watching Starship Troopers when we were younger. Well, when I was younger, and I don't remember any of what I watched. Like when we watched it recently. Yeah. yeah. It's weird looking back at it. I think the only bit I remember was a guy getting shot. The shower scene, <laughs> and also um, yeah, the shower scene. Yeah, uh, the guy, the guy the getting whipped. I remember that, but I didn't notice it was uh, the guy in Breaking Bad. It's not that. Yeah. Like Breaking Bad. Yeah, ten lashes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get that, and then you and then you watch stuff back years later, and you see all these actors. Like, I know yeah. that guy. I know that guy. You watch any sci-fi NPH, show from the last right. decade, NPH. and there is someone from oh, yeah, from Stargate SG One in every single one of them, like really? the original Stargate. Yeah. Those people were in like everything. Like, I've been watching Andromeda. They had uh, Tilk. And um, the other guy, they were both in an episode of Andromeda. Yeah, like Andromeda. everywhere, man. Yeah, Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica is on uh, Netflix as well, eh? I think so. I think so, yeah. I need to start watching that, too. I watched Battlestar Galactica, and the thing about Battlestar is the first two seasons are great, and everything after that is How many a are pile there? of shit. Like, it's awful. How many are there? Five, I think. Uh, yeah, the, the, this third season you're watching it and you're just like, this is like lost. This is an hour of my life that I'm never going to get back. Where, I mean, every film, sorry, every television show will have an, a, a wide overarching story. Everyone a story arc. The mm. And then miniature episodic stories, obviously. Uh, and they'll, you know, take episode. up part of an episode. But then every episode you're slowly advancing the main plot, right? And uh, 
the thing about Stargate Atl uh, sorry, Stargate Atlantis, the thing about Battlestar Galactica is that by the third season it's like watching Lost because every episode the episodic value, the miniaturized storytelling, has just lost all of its vigor and all of its momentum. Yeah. But you've now got this overarching story that is you're you've, you're so drained of anything that's like insightful or engaging mm. that you no longer to, care yeah. about the overarching storyline. Yeah, you no longer care because you it. haven't been sort of. You're like I don't care who's a Cylon. I don't care who's not. And I'm really about Lost. I only got about three, four series in. Three, uh, four, I yeah. watched it, I I watched it to the end watching. and I would have given up after yeah. Yeah. But what did you think of so Lost by about the, the fourth season that you watched I was just getting a bit tired of it yeah so when did they get off the island they get back on the island they get off at the end of season four and they get back on by season five or something is season five the last season no season six there's a, yeah, so I, I saw every episode and I can't I even remember what happened in the fifth, the fourth, the third. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, okay, first, I watched first the first season and then I was like, yeah. like I'll remember the bits, hatch. but it of, doesn't matter. The, so end the, first one, the, lost, wait, you know, the end of the first one, they find the hatch. Yeah. Right, and the second one, they realise that there's another place at the very end of that. Oh, sorry, the others. Right, the others. But the, the, the others turn out. The third one, they realise there's another island. Those others turn out to be the other people from the tail end. Yeah. And then do they actually encounter the actual others? I don't think they're. No. The thing is, that's one part that doesn't make sense. If they're the people from, some of them are the people from the tail end. Yeah, the, the, those are the first. No, like because they've got houses and buildings and everything. There's no way they're just everyone from the tail end. No, no, yeah. no, I'm not saying that. I think with but TV they, they shows, encountered, they encountered the people from the tail end. You think the people from the tail end are the others? That's what they introduced them. What well, the end of the second series? Is it the end of the second or is it the end of the first? Or is it the start of the second? Yeah. End of the first is definitely the hatch. I think it's the start of the second. That's when they introduced them. <laughs> Okay, but the end of the third one, they get off the island. Okay, cool. yeah. As so riveting, the the as, one, riveting as this debate is. I don't know. Go on. Yeah, basically, like the, like the fucking thing says, it's too lost. easy going, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you can't hey, even hey. remember, it's just all immersed in the one. Like, hey. there was that Japanese Mark guy that slap these motherfuckers was only speaking place. Japanese because he didn't like how English sounded on his tongue. I remember that bit specifically, but I couldn't tell you what that scenario was. Do you remember when Hurley gets crazy and eats everyone? Do you remember the one when they guys, called the golf Guys, course? my my <laughs> mammoth twenty nine strong audience. Uh, You're not going to. I mean, they're not paying me nothing. To listen to this. <laughs> they're not paying you. <laughs> no, John, shit. you continue, continue, don't continue. Right. Uh, I mean, like with regard to Lost and stuff like that, I think there's three main main elements: setting, yeah, you're, you're, you know, you setting, are, right? story, no, no, and no, no, character no, no, development. No, 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 no. And if you, you fail more than two of those, you are you're you, you're fail. a discussion fascist. <laughs> and what the microphone does is it gives you privilege. Yeah. So in when the microphone's on, and you feel like dictating. you have the authority to tell other people to shut up and listen to you. When in yeah. the meantime, people so, can just as opposed to discussing the out. minor intricacies of you a plot line that had, like, others in the audience may yeah. not have been exposed to. Me You're going like, in a fucking gulag, and I know that's a commie fascist crossover. Me and Sean have had like I'll four mini conversations in between. That's what you are, commie yeah. fascist. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that in The Simpsons? Communist Nazis. <laughs> it's like the, the hammer and the sickle. Oh, wait, no, it's the swastika inside. A hammer and sickle? Like a red a star. Hammer sickle? Yeah, yeah, oh my, like that's that. The, that would be the way I would portray that yeah. logo. Yeah. It's just, it's like, that's some of the like, really good Simpsons writing. Yeah. Like, that was fucking yeah, no, The Simpsons, that's an interesting one. Because oh, how many of you have watched The Simpsons more than twice in the last year? Uh, I've watched it for about I don't know, I, I see seven episodes years accidentally. For some reason, after about 2007, The Simpsons just fell away. I don't know if it was Family just me. Guy. Family Guy and things that were created by I don't know if it was because the, first the, the amount of media the amount of edgy sort of because The Simpsons was basically satirical in some ways mm -hmm. yeah I don't know if it's because the amount of edgy satirical uh, material on top of Family Guy in the more conventional sense on the internet just exploded at that time mm -hmm. and I don't know if that people looked at The Simpsons because I look at it now and it's crazy you know you usually look back when we're talking about Scooby Doo and you go wow that's actually really brave because they're talking about all the stoner stuff and in today's mm. world I mean we're quite liberal but at the time you would have thought in the 70s that wouldn't have been a thing but they had it because it was basically all these hippies in a van but uh, the, the the strange thing about all this internet kind of explosion and, and the amount of people who are making these little sitcoms that are satirical or, and you look at The Simpsons now it's like the opposite you look at it and you go man this is lightweight when mm. compared to you know well, uh, family, family Guy and I don't know if it's guys. Family Guy is the kind of they threw in an extra ingredient the thing, and they were able to create a formula that bridged the, the gap one? between South Park and The Simpsons. The best one was definitely Futurama. Like, mm. it has 
I don't know, it's, it's crazy the kind of comedy that Futurama has, mm. but it has a bit of everything, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it was a lot more out there than The Simpsons, like, yeah. they could really sort of go with their ideas a bit more. It was, was wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And they could have the, changed it for different, like, well, different solar systems, different planets, and all the rest of it. Yeah. Just every, like, different creature in that, that aliens yeah, meet. That's, yeah, that's just what made... Universe. It's just pure, mm. like, imagination. It yeah, was yeah. Brilliant. I mean, that's yeah. what made Stargate so strong, in my opinion. Mm. You have this, you have this ring. And that's it, right? <laughs> do, you know, do, 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 do you want to watch? Do you want to watch the first episode of Futurama after the South Park? The first episode of Futurama. Yeah. yeah well, guys, we've got another. I was going to do half an hour at twenty-five minutes. Mm-hmm. Going to have five minutes, so you just cram as much in if you like. Uh, that's okay, fine. I'll just cram it. Talking about your ring. ring. Okay, so you've got this ring. And you cram okay. it in. Um, <laughs> and, it, and when you fire up that ring, <laughs> and you step through it. Right. Uh, it takes you to a different place. Yeah, it? and it takes you to a different place, but you you can you don't actually need a setting. It's almost that's one of the I think the strengths of science fiction in general. It's like the setting is the opposite of setting stuff. Wait, how? What time mm-hmm. is that? Twenty five. Twenty five. Right. People, at least listen to the twenty five minute spot because then he starts talking about the ring. Right. Yeah. And you want to hear that part? I mean, not the film or Lord of the Rings, but or an, his a personal ring. Yeah. Not not an orifice in or around my body, but. The ring, <laughs> the, the <laughs> Stargate, the Stargate, and that's not what I pretentiously call my own asshole. Yeah, the star, the gate of the stars, baby. <laughs> Bite the pillow, I'm going in dry. Did that chat fascist thing get to you? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you call me a ring. No. Oh, that's where you're. No. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hire you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing a oh, joke, I wasn't sure. No, he's calling himself the ring, or he is no, the okay. ring. No, okay. Right. You're ruining everything. There's this ring, right? And you said you step so through the ring, and, and you can and you can change it's that thing. It's a stargate. Yeah, yeah, it's a stargate. Every change. time you hear the word ring, you have to drink. <laughs> yeah. Try that. Anyway. That's what we're going to say to the audience. Every time you hear us now, we're not going to say the word ring anymore. When you step through the stargate, Okay, I'm not deciding that we're not going to say the word ring anymore. I'm like a fucking grammar fashion. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, sure. a vocab, a vocab fashion. Look at that. Terminology fashion. You can tell me what about. I can and can't say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and basically, I will not say ring merely to annoy you. Because when I have I the say, freedom to when say, I say it. When yeah. I say recorder, host and producer, you should interpret that as judge, jury, and fucking execution. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Oh, I'm guys. sorry, whose table is <laughs> <laughs> Flips the fucking table. Yeah, jokes can use your table. You know, for three minutes we've covered very little. And your phone, and your shit. Oh, and your face. Nah, you're good to go. Come on. I never said that. You have gone to jail now. You're going to jail now. You're going to jail. Oh man, only heroin addicts are going to listen to this because they're, they're the only people that will make fucking sense. <laughs> to it. The only it. people that will understand it. <laughs> just go there and just like, what can I search for? Ah, Shadow Town. <laughs> oh. Um, okay, should we conclude it here? Yeah, yeah, well, they're about to, they're about to yeah we're watching fucking South Park, so. All right. to nuke the yeah, we are watching South Park. So. So um, thanks for listening. I will see you all later. Suck a dick. Ring.